Okay, so we're gonna go through with this again. Um, here's how I marked it using my golden mean caliper. Just gonna quick show. Here's one and three. Two goes straight above, not on the diagonal, so straight above about a pinky length. Then you flip it. Use the same middle one to mark 0.5. I can get rid of that now. You would draw the line up. And these lines here show you the direction, and the curve that you should be in. Two goes to three. Four is put in after the fact to show the thickness of the brow and that's usually done with the guidance of the client and what they are looking for. Curve up to five and this is 0.6 but you only mark it if you're doing fake. And this here is the highest point of the bottom arch, the bottom line. Okay, just a quick overview. I'm using an 18 pin U-blade in a eccentric holder. Eccentric is the one on the side here. And when you use that, you roll it. You roll it. So you're gonna start, I wish I could have a better angle here. My pen needs to be up and down, otherwise my strokes will be slices in the skin that won't hold or heal properly. They'll go away if you do it, if you go sideways in, they won't last, they have to be up and down. So, I'm gonna put in our hair strokes. My blade is really, I just put it in, it's brand new and it's kind of catching up on this fake skin a little bit, but. It's different on real skin. I'm gonna put in a little transition line so I can start my curvature back towards the tail. I like to add in little dots so I know my top and bottom. I can differentiate, so if I was a real person, I would actually roll around them, but it's not. I'm turning my skin. When I'm practicing, I turn my skin so I can simulate the real person effect better because when you're with a real person, obviously it's very different. You don't want your strokes too parallel or at all because that means the top would be the same as the bottom as far as how far they are apart. And if you have a lot of space between the top of your strokes, you don't have a defined brow line. We're gonna do the bottom strokes. And again, they don't go right to the dots they go close to the dots because in the next set of strokes you have to be able to get them in between without crossing over. And there you go. And now we're gonna do our connections in the top area. So when you're doing your initial strokes, you'll do one side, then you'll mask, and then you'll go back and do the other brow. And then you would put numbing on the first one. Wait a couple of minutes, go back and wipe it, and then you're gonna fill your strokes. Filling your strokes means you're gonna go back through the same stroke very precisely, with your blade and pigment and you're going to find the stroke spread with your three-way stretch and you're going to go into the stroke and you're going to stay in it without doubling and making blurry strokes 
and you're gonna go through each one, one at a time, and you're gonna fill it with pigment. So each stroke is then twice as dark and twice as thick. <clears throat> and if you don't do that, your retention is going to be terrible. So you want to get pigment on your tool again, on the blade. Stretch, find your stroke, and just very carefully. And when you're doing that, you are going to feel the vel you're going to hear the Velcro again, the sound that you initially made when you did your first strokes. And if you don't hear it, you're not doing it right. You have to hear the Velcro. If you don't hear it, then you need to add a little more pressure. You're not trying to cut so deep. You're just trying to make sure you're making your stroke the same depth from the beginning straight through to the end of the stroke for consistency. Okay? That's something that you really need to pay attention, practice, see well, make sure you're stretching the skin properly because if you don't have the stretch down, Honestly, you're not going to have a crisp stroke. You're going to have a, a wobbly looking, um, non-precise stroke. I'm wiping with alcohol because it's just fake skin and I want to see what I did. So you can see the ones I filled because they're a little darker. You have to do all of them though. Okay, so here's my eyebrow. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I'll get back with you as soon as possible.